The Lorenz force or fine beam tube is a classic experiment to demonstrate the properties of electrons and measure the ratio of E to M. The features of this particular unit is its ability to demonstrate magnetic and electrostatic deflection. It has a built-in power supply with analog meters. The low pressure tube contains argon gas and the tube can be rotated from 0 to 90 degrees with respect to the Helmholtz coils. There are also outputs on the back of the apparatus so you can connect your own devices or digital meters. The clear ruler in the front along with the mirror in the back helps eliminate parallax errors and the sighting tool helps measure the diameter more accurately and the ruler can be moved up and down when you have different diameter circles. Setting up and performing the experiment is very easy. First, zero out all the knobs, plug in the apparatus, and then turn on the power supply. You want to wait about two minutes for the filament to heat up. After about two minutes, you will see the filament heated up. I turned it at an angle so you can see it. You want to make sure you turn it back to the 90 degree mark. The controls are very easy to use. You have the main on off switch. You have the accelerating voltage potential, which is going to be right off here. For electrostatic deflection, you have a knob for 50 to 250 volts. That allows you to deflect the charge away from these plates. You can also vary the polarity of the plates to demonstrate how the electron path will change. When you're doing the actual experiment, you want to turn this to clockwise, and this shows you the direction that the current is going in the Helmholtz coils, and then you adjust the current. And then you can actually get measurements, which we're going to do right now. So we have a beam showing because our accelerating potential is high enough. Now I'm going to increase the voltage and demonstrate electrostatic deflection. It goes up and now I'm going to switch the polarity and now it's going to go down. Now we're going to engage the Hemholtz coils. This LED indicates the current is going clockwise and clockwise is the direction you want to do to actually collect data. So I'm going to increase the current. Until you get a nice symmetrical ring. If you look at the angle of the bulb, you'll notice this is spiraling. You want to adjust this to be 90 degrees. So it's going right back on itself and making a nice circle. Once you get a nice circle that's not spiraling, adjust the ruler so it's at the diameter of the circle. Move the little pointer so it's on the center of the ring on the left. Make note of the distance. Move it to the right, right on the center of the line. Make note of the distance and then you subtract the two to get the diameter of your circle and therefore the radius. When you are making these measurements, Make sure that the sight on the ruler and its reflection in the mirror line up. If you wish to look at the magnetic field going the opposite direction, I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to change the direction of the current and the Helmholtz coil. So now this LED is turned on, indicating it's going in the opposite direction. And now if I increase the magnetic field, it's going to curl down the opposite way. The Lorenz force or fine beam apparatus is a classic experiment for demonstrating electrostatic repulsion as well as the ratio of E over M. The simple to use controls and the storage solution makes this a very easy addition to your laboratory. The instruction manual goes over in detail the specifications as well as sample data. 
If you have proper laboratory techniques, you can easily get an accurate result of less than 5 or 10%.